Hey, hello again, everybody. Today, uh, I wanted to go over some of the unwritten slash maybe written rules of uh, the trail, hoping that this might give the 2019 hikers a little heads up on certain things that that happen out there that you know if you already know about, you're not going to have to be concerned with it. First thing I'm going to talk about is. Uh, do not discuss politics or religion. People go onto the trail to get away from uh, the matrix or the hustle bustle of life. And believe me, one of the most exhilarating things I found out on the trail last year when I got out there was that I was completely shut off from the politics. You know, you just get so sick of everything on the TV, the newspaper, the radio, you know, just this, 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 and you just get sick of it. And then out there, it's not there. And it's not there for a reason, because people don't discuss politics or religion out on the trail. So, if you keep it that way, no matter how passionate you are about your beliefs, uh, other people are not out there to discuss that stuff. So, keep it to yourself, and it'll make your hike much more enjoyable, trust me. second thing I want to talk about a little bit is uh, shelter and shelter etiquette. Now, when you get to a shelter, really only take the amount of space in the shelter that you need for your sleeping pad and sleeping bag because other people might be coming in and want to sleep in that space especially if it's raining or snowing or really bad outside so you know leave that space for them and as people come in you usually like if there's two people there one will be on one end one will be on the other but as people come in you know make sure that uh, you give them that for that space that's available it's just a common courtesy and the, and the thing to do. The other thing on that is if you are that person that's coming in later and their the shelter is full and you're the one that's there late, don't expect people to scrunch up and sleep on top of each other because you just happen to show up late. Not going to happen or it shouldn't happen. Just go ahead and pitch your tent and you know sleep the night out in your tent no matter what the weather is or your hammock, whatever your sleeping system may be. The other thing on that is uh, noise. When you're coming into a shelter, even if there is space available and you're coming in late, you know, it's dark outside or you know, people are asleep or whatever, be as quiet as you can. Don't be talking to your friends or waking people up or uh, you know, clanking stuff and whatever. Be, just be as quiet as you can and that's, that's basically common courtesy. One of the other things about shelter has to do with women and privacy. You know, give women the privacy that they need. If you see that a woman needs to change her clothes, and she's, she might even, you know, some women in the trail will say, hey, I'm, I'm changing over here. And the common thing, courtesy thing to do is turn your back. You know, no matter what you're doing, drop your stuff, drop whatever you need to do and turn your back and let them, you know, get their, their privacy. You know, some of them will be, doing the sleeping bag change, you know, crunch down in their sleeping bag trying to change, and, uh, you know, that's not an easy thing to do, but, you know, turn your back and give them that privacy. It's just, uh, it's just the right thing to do. And same thing out on the trail. You know, I, I walked up on a few women that, you know, were relieving themselves on the side of the trail. Just stop, turn your back, say, hey, I'm here, and then let me know when you're done. And, you know, they're embarrassed and whatever it may be. But, you know, give them that courtesy of, uh, of privacy when it comes to that sort of thing. Uh, hiker Midnight. Now, I don't actually know what Hiker Midnight is. Some people say it's 7 o'clock. Some people say it's 8 o'clock. Some people say it's 9 o'clock. Hiker Midnight to me is when the first person decides to lay down and want to go to sleep. Uh, so... You know, whether that be, for me, it was early. You know, I was always wanting to get to sleep early so I could rest. But uh, don't be making a bunch of noise in the shelter or even in your tent when, and talking amongst each other from tent to tent and all that stuff once it gets past dark. Some other people are trying to sleep. Uh, you know, so just keep it down. If you have stuff, stuff to discuss and people are at the shelter talking and nobody's sleeping in there, then that's all well and fine. You know, that everybody has a good time. But when it comes time to settle down, you know, settle down. And uh, no need to be making a bunch of noise. And once again, another common courtesy thing. When you're coming into a 
area where you're going to maybe pitch your tent. And there's, you're one of the first ones there, or there's hardly, you know, there's just a few people there, and there's a bunch of spots to pitch your tent. And go ahead and pitch your tent in a spot that is away from other tents that are already pitched. Meaning, if somebody has gotten there early and has gotten the flattest prime spot, and the next flattest prime spot is right next to theirs, don't pitch your tent right next to theirs. Uh, you know, tent walls are really not walls at all. And you rolling over in your bag, you snoring or whatever is going to disturb them. Go ahead and pitch your, find another spot somewhere else. Pitch your tent uh, a little bit away from them. So everybody gets their privacy, even in their tent. I've even had, you know, people pitch their tent so close to mine when there was plenty of room that the guy wires were crossing. Uh, you know, it's just, just not, just not right. <laughs> it's just not right. So, uh, uh, give the other people the privacy that, that you would like to have. Uh, it's just, once again, common courtesy, nice thing to do. Another thing about uh, pitching your tent and hanging your bear bag. When you get to a spot, say you're the first one there, hang your bear bag outside the tenting area in case there are other people that come up there that want to tent. Even though you, you, know, you don't want to take away somebody's tent spot because you hung your bear bag over a, a spot, you never know how many people are gonna come into the shelter. And don't hang your bag over somebody's or around somebody else's tent. It's, it's just mean to do that. It's almost like putting a carrot out in front of a bear, you know. And, you know, I've seen it. Don't do it. Make sure that you find the right place to hang your bear bag, uh, and don't do it over or around yours or somebody else's tent. Next thing I want to talk about a little bit is vlogging etiquette. I mean, there's it looks like there's a lot of vloggers out there this year, or people that are just taking videos for themselves or whatever it may be. So when you walk up onto a, an overlook or a place, you know, a, a stream or somewhere where somebody's videotaping, just be quiet and let them finish their videotape. It's usually not going to last any more than 10 to 30 seconds. And let them do their thing so you're not talking in the background of their video. And on the other side of that, if you are videotaping and you walk up onto an area where there are some people and you're going to start videotaping or even taking pictures, don't do that without asking somebody first if it's okay for them to be, or is it okay for you to be in my video? Uh, it's, it's, um, some people don't want to don't want to be on a video, and I only had that happen a couple of times, but you know it happens. Some people don't want to be in somebody else's video, and I can completely understand that, and that's completely up to them, and that's once again common courtesy type of thing. Uh, next thing I want to go over a little uphill downhill. When you are trucking up a hill, and or a mountain, or whatever it may be, you start to get into a rhythm where you're stabilizing your heart rate, going at a speed that your heart rate is staying at a, at a good rate, and you get into a rhythm. So you come up onto a hiker that's going downhill. That hiker that's going uphill has the right of way. So give that hiker the courtesy of the right of way and step aside. Say, come on up. Now, if the hiker that's going uphill stops and says, oh, no, no, please come down, I need a break, and whatever, then by all means, you know, go ahead and go down. But the hiker going uphill has the right of way. And it's, uh, it, when you're going down, <clears throat> it's a lot easier to stop and, you know, break your rhythm than it is if you're going up because of the rhythm that you've got and the heart rate that you've got going and stuff like that. So, you know, uphill, downhill. The other thing I want to talk about is, is your music. Wear headphones for your music, for your podcast, whatever it is that you may listen to. The pristine environment of the trail is what a lot of people get out there for, not to listen to your disco, your hip hop, your reggae, whatever it may be that you like. Somebody else might not like it. So just put your earphones in and don't be last and no matter how how light it is don't be playing your music out for everybody to hear and also in your tent and in the shelter same thing you know if you want to listen to your music listen to it with your earphones uh, and you're not going to get any issues if you've got your earphones on some people say well i can't hear if a bear is coming or whatever well put your ear one ear in and one ear out 
that's the way to do it. All right, next thing I want to discuss is smoking. If you are one of those people that smoke cigarettes, then please, please do not smoke cigarettes in a shelter, especially if somebody else is there. Uh, and if you got to get up and smoke a cigarette in the middle of the night or in the morning or whatever it may be, get up and go outside of the shelter far enough away to where my great name here is trying to drink my soda. <laughs> But go outside the shelter far enough away to where the other hikers don't have to smell your secondhand smoke. And same thing up and down the trail, uh, you know, uh, or even on top of a mountain or whatever. Other hikers don't want to smell your secondhand smoke. So get to a place where, like a sm inside a building or whatever, where there's a off the trail, a smoking area, whatever it may be, to have your cigarettes if you need to do that. But, on the trail, you're just standing up the air. And that, and then the other thing, you know, take your butts with you. And that leads me into the last and really most important thing is the leave no trace trail, or leave no trace policy. Leave no trace policy is exactly what it says. Leave no trace. Just because your apple core, your banana peel is biodegradable doesn't mean that you can just leave it at the, at the campsite toss it off in the woods or just leave it in the shelter or wherever it may be, carry it out with you. And understand that people are going to accidentally drop things. And, you know, me, on, you put a, a candy bar wrapper or a package wrapper or something in your pocket, it might work its way out. It probably will. And it'll fall on the trail. And you hope that some other hiker behind you will pick that up, as you should do when you're walking along the trail and see that another hiker has accidentally dropped something or left something on the trail, just pick it up. It's not going to weigh you down, and you'll be able to dump it off at your next trash stop. So it's not that big a deal. Orange peels, cigarette butts, banana peels, apple cores, all of that stuff needs to be packed out. And once again, that's the leave no trace policy. Everything you bring in, you should pack out. Uh, I'll go ahead and talk a little bit about cat holes and stuff like that. Uh, you, know, you, you dig your own cat hole six inches deep, put everything in there, cover it up, and get far enough away off the trail to where I think it's 200 feet off the trail and more than 200 feet away from any water source that anywhere, any stream or water source that anybody might be drinking out of. That's for your own protection and the hikers behind you. So. Leave No Trace is on the ATC website. Read the policy and live by it. All right. I hope that maybe helped some of the hikers. I'm just going to mention that Hikeification put out a video somewhat similar to this about trail etiquette, which he's much better behind the camera than me. He hit some points that I did. He hit some points that I didn't. So what I'm going to do is put a link to his uh, video that he put out down here. Watch that one, too. And I think if you listen to both of these, you'll be kind of covered on some of the etiquette and written slash unwritten policies and uh, trail etiquette things to do. <laughs> Next video I'm going to do is about through hiking with your dog. So stay tuned. All right, BTF.